If you are looking to play some quality games on your Android device, then my friend, this video might just be for you. Hello everyone, I'm Hamao Kao, and in this video, I'll be teaching you how you can download and play Nintendo GameCube games on your Android device for free using Dolphin Emulator. Now this video is the definitive tutorial for downloading and running GameCube games on your Android device, so I'll be going into every single detail possible from where I download the games and how I download them to extracting the games and even to showing you my settings, what, this, what are the settings that I use. So uh, with that said, we're just gonna go into the video after, well, th th this part ends. So you're gonna have to wait for a few seconds. Okay, so we're here. Uh, let's just go to Play Store and search for the app Zarchiver. Z-A-R-C-H-I-V-E-R. Once you've done that, just hit search and it's going to be the first app. Just go ahead and install it. I've already installed it and we're going to use it to extract the 7z file or the rar file, okay? Now, once you've done that, just go ahead and search for the other app, which is Dolphin Emulator. Just go ahead and search, type in uh, D-O-L-P-H-I-N space emulator, E-M-U-L-A-T-O-R. Now, once you've done that, hit search. And again, it's going to be the first app right there. As you can see, there are a few sc screenshots. Uh, uh, let me just scroll through them. You're going to use this app to play Wii games and GameCube games on your Android. So if you want to, you can do that. I'm going to make a video about it probably later. Now let's just go into our browser, okay? In the browser, we're going to go to this website. It's called downloadroms.io. I'll link it in the description so you don't have to worry about it at all. This is where I get all my GameCube and Wii games from. Uh, today we'll be focusing on two games specifically. One is uh, Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, and the other one is Luigi's Mansion. Okay, so let's just click on Zelda. Once I've done that, it's going to take me to this page. Just scroll down, okay? All you're going to have to do is scroll down and click on Save Game. And the download will start automatically. Well, I'm going to get a window popped up uh, in a few seconds. Okay, there we go, the window popped up. Just hit Download and the download will start. Now, uh, I'm just going to go and check on the download. Yeah, as you can see, uh, it is downloading. I'm just going to cancel it because I've already downloaded this. Uh, so let's just go to um, Zarchiver now where we're going to extract the ROM that we just downloaded. So we'll go to uh, Zarchiver and locate our download, which will be in Download. Okay, here, as you can see, I've already extracted it. Once you've extracted it, you're going to have this ISO file. Uh, I'm going to remove this right now, uh, just for the sake of this video. Uh, and then just tap on Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker 7C file. And then press Extract here. And the extraction will start just like that. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of time, uh, but just wait for it. I'm just going to fast forward this. And uh, boom. So you can keep the ISO, you have to keep the ISO file, what am I saying? Um, and delete the 7 z file. Okay, I'm going to show you another one uh, in emulated GameCube. Uh, there you go, Luigi's Mansion ISO. The ISO file is all that you're going to need. Okay, now uh, we're just going to go ahead and open Dolphin Emulator. Now, uh, oh wait, before I start, as you can see, there are two Dolphin Emulators here. Uh, one is Dolphin MMG, this one. And the other one is the Dolphin emulator I downloaded from Play Store. I use the Dolphin MMJ one uh, to play motion control games like Animal Farm or House of the Dead. And the other one to play other games. As you can see, there are two games right here. You're not going to have that. You're just going to have to tap on the GameCube thingy uh, on the top left and then hit on the plus button on the bottom right. Once you've done that, you're going to have to locate where you have extracted your game. Now, in our case, we have it in download. and just go to download and hit the select directory in the bottom. I'm just going to show you that again, uh, this time with Luigi's Mansion. Uh, see, GameCube, just hit select directory in the bottom, okay? And that's it. Uh, let me show you my settings before we start this video. As you can see, uh, click on enhancement. That's where you can change everything up, internal resolution, uh, widescreen. I'm just going to turn off widescreen hack. It doesn't work that well. So uh, with that done, let's hit Zelda. 
and as you can see that the game is running and it is running beautifully. So there you go. Now, uh, fair warning, this game does have cell shaded graphics and some of you might be off put by that but trust me, this game is beautiful and it's beautiful because of the cell shaded graphics. It, it's, well, it's very renowned in the Zelda community for being very bold and the gameplay is amazing too. Uh, the intro on, of this game is fairly lengthy, okay? There's gonna be this drawings and they're gonna tell you the story and how the world uh, of, Hi of, or how this kingdom of Hyrule fell underwater, which is the kingdom the game, well, is based on, I guess. Yeah, so I'm just gonna fast forward this, but uh, let me just tell you that the, the music during this cutscene or this intro is absolutely breathtaking. And honestly, I don't really remember when's the last time I heard something this beautiful in a video game. So, yeah, listen to it, it's unskippable. So, there's nothing you can do about it, you're just, you're just gonna have to listen to it. As you can see that the game has started, we're gonna have to go to another cutscene. And in this cutscene, my younger sister, as in Link, Link's younger sister, uh, searches for Link. Now, if you have never played a Zelda game before, then you should know that the main character's name isn't Zelda, it's Link. The girl or the princess you're rescuing all the time is Zelda. Yeah, a little confusing, I know, but yeah, that's how it is. So I don't know if you can tell, but this game looks beautiful. It's amazing. And there are Zelda games with relatively realistic graphics and if you want you can just go ahead and play them but I recommend playing this one because according to me it's the best Zelda game on the GameCube okay it's the best Zelda game on the GameCube and that's just my opinion you might think differently there's Twilight Princess which is also pretty good and you can download it from the same website I've downloaded it and it's gonna be on the first page Again, I'll link that in the description, so you don't have to worry about it at all. So here's the first cutscene that you're gonna get. Oh, it's my birthday! Woohoo! I totally forgot about it. How normal of me. Yeah. Okay, so the game has started. And we're gonna go check on our grandma. Now, the controls are... Well, there are a lot of controls. As you can see, a lot of buttons. So it's gonna be best if you use uh, a physical controller, like a PS4 controller or a Bluetooth controller. I've seen people use ePega controllers with their Android devices for playing emulated games, which I think is pretty awesome. It makes your device look like a Nintendo Switch. As you can see, this game is absolutely stunning. And it's a wonder that you can actually play it on your Android device. I mean, look at it. It's fucking beautiful. So we're gonna go and uh, test another game. Now that I can see that this one runs, we're just gonna go ahead and test uh, Luigi's Mansion now. And to be honest, Luigi's Mansion is also a very great game, and it's also one of the best games on Ga GameCube, again, according to my opinion. You might think differently, but if you do that, you might be wrong. As you can see, the graphics are still amazing, and that old guy right there, yeah, his voice is amazing. It's, it's funny as hell. I love it. And out of all the voice actings I have seen throughout the years, this is probably my favorite. Not probably, it's, it's my favorite. As you can see, this game runs too. And 
Boy, does it run. So uh, the video is over now. You can just go ahead and uh, leave. But before you go, uh, the best way to support my channel is through a subscription. And I upload videos like this almost regularly. So I'm never short of content. And you're not going to be short of content on my channel either. So just do that. And if this video helped you out in any way, just go ahead and like it. A like is, well, the best way to support the channel. And share this with your friends so that they can know how to do this too. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Oh, and also, I just started out on YouTube, so I might make a lot of mistakes. And if you don't like my videos, just let me know down in the comments. You can dislike the videos if you want, but uh, a little constructive criticism is, I think, best for me. And I'm trying to make my videos better each and every day. With each new video, I'm trying to get better. So, yeah. Um, the video is over. This is uh, Hao Mao Kao, signing out.